Hello and welcome to another edition of the story behind the photo with John A. Smith. I am obviously John A. Smith. I am John A. Smith Photography with the help of my wife, Tracy. Um, and we like from time to time just to kind of pull up an image, have a conversation about it uh, and share our thoughts, what our process was that we went through it. Uh, some of the trials, tribulations, fun, excitement, laughter uh, that we create when we do these images. And so we thought we'd just share them with you just in case you ever wanted to put some stuff on your list. Uh, speaking of things to put on a list, uh, here's the Burrowing Owl of Marana, Arizona. Tracy and I uh, obviously live in Tucson, Arizona, where cactus and sunsets are a plenty. So what we do to kind of change things up a little bit is we actually create a bucket list for our photography. And we actually try to seek out those things and then photograph them. This happens to be one of those things that was on the list. Uh, we heard about the um, burrowing owls, uh, obviously from the internet. We just never had seen them all our lives. So we sought out to not only discover, but to photograph, like I said. Uh, that said, we got a little tip from a place that we had photographed, a cemetery out in Marana. We got a little tip on where they were located, and we decided one evening right before sunset to give it a shot. Uh, lo and behold, as we was driving down the road that we were told that they were on, we looked over and what we thought was a rock actually turned out to be the head of an owl. Uh, if we were going any faster, we probably would have never discovered it. We actually had to completely turn around because we weren't sure that it was an owl the first time. But basically, these things just live. Um, they burrow down in between these irrigation ditches because in the summertime, you know, because it's kind of hot here in Arizona, they are able to get cooled off when the water goes through the irrigation ditches. So it makes a perfect home for them. They set out just outside the cotton fields. Um, you can only imagine the amount of uh, things that live in the cotton fields that they probably are able to feed off. So it just makes a perfect home for them. It's kind of a neat thing. The cool thing is that they're really not all that afraid of traffic or cars. So they just kind of sat there and stared at us. So, of course, you have to be prepared to, uh, to do just about anything to get the perfect shot. This ditch was almost five feet deep, I think. I mean, it appeared to be 10 feet deep when I was laying in it. Um, but I laid it down in the ditch, uh, was able to uh, support my camera on the bottom of the ditch, and was able to take a pretty good image. The sun was going down, so the owl was going to be backlit. And we had a little bit on some of the images, we were able to use not only the sun as a backdrop, but we were able to use the cotton fields that had been freshly watered. The results to me were pretty amazing. Uh, this is pretty much what we saw. Um, the nice thing about this owl, he wasn't too disturbed. I think he was used to people. And he just sat there and stared at me like I was some crazy Sasquatch that got stuck inside of the irrigation ditch. I always tried to focus towards the eyes. Uh, that way, the center of the face of the eye is really what we're uh, concentrating on. It also gives you the motion of whatever animal or even po portrait that you're trying to take. Uh, this one just came out pretty good. I liked how the left side's a little bit blurred, but the owl is completely in focus. So the owl stayed still. We really, actually, he turned around, started looking around on his own, wasn't disturbed. And we got this image, which basically was the background, uh, what we believe is the sun hitting off of the, um, the, the uh, cotton plants. And we was able to do a kind of a different shot. So just keep focusing, being respectful to the animal but yet try to get different angles. So that's it. That's about the burrowing owls of Arizona. Uh, I encourage you to try to go take a picture of them, try to find them. It's part of the fun. Put it on your photography bucket list. And uh, if you have comments below on what you used in your photography bucket list, I'd sure be more than happy to, uh, to give it a listen. So anyway, see you next time. Thanks for listening.